What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing VolNet Roasted, which is an Active Directory box. And I'm learning Active Directory, so please roast me in the comments when I do something wrong. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, I've got our box pulled up. Uh, the VolNet Entertainment just deployed a new instance on their network with the newly hired system administrators. Being a security aware company, they as always hired you to perform a penetration test and see how system administrators are performing. Alright, so we're going to be pen testing this box and we'll always start with an and map scan. So, be checking the versions as well as running some default scripts, our IP address, and we'll be outputting our file to the uh, roasted file. Enter. All right, guys, our nmap scan is back. We've got a uh, DNS, Kerberos, SMB, um, LDAP, and yeah, so uh, got our domain name over here, Volnet RST Local, and we will go ahead and start with SMB. So I like to use SMB map because it shows you the shares as well as the permissions for each share and we use username anonymous okay SMB map is back and we have read access to the IPC share and read access to these two shares uh, Volnet business sharing and Volnet enterprise sharing shares uh, so it looks like SMB null sessions are allowed okay now we can connect with SMB client our IP address which is 39177 and our share we'll go uh, volnet business anonymous first and no password all right, so we're on our SMB share. LS, we'll go ahead and get all these files. That looks like that's pretty much all there is there. We'll exit out of that. And we can go grab that other uh, share, see if there's anything on there. Some more text files. We'll go ahead and grab all of those. All right, so we got all these text files from the shares. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know uh, going through all these, don't really find much information. Okay guys, so uh, SMB allows null sessions, so we can actually use an impacket tool called uh, lookup SID, which, is allow, which allows us to uh, enumerate through the SIDs of the users and gather information on the user accounts. So just a little tidbit on uh, null sessions. Null sessions are just uh, access to a network share without authentication and most commonly being the IPC share, the Windows named pipe. Okay, so we're going to be enumerating through the SIDs, but SIDs are just uh, security identifiers that are generated for every account on the Windows system. And Windows uses these SIDs to uh, manage settings for all the accounts on Windows. So why use an SID? Because when humans talk, we just talk uh, the user accounts like Bob and Alice, but these can be changed and if you change a username like Bob to something like John and then everything in the whole Windows system has to update to that new username it uh, could cause some errors so Windows just uses these SIDs which cannot be changed that are associated to these accounts and uh, that prevents that problem of having to change everything if a user account gets changed Okay, so moving on, we'll use this uh, impacket tool lookup SID. 
which is allows us to enumerate through the SIDs on this system, uh, local and domain SIDs. Uh, we can use any username we want. So I just put anything at our uh, target IP address. And then I'm piping the T command, which allows us to output to a file. And we will output this to look up SID. And just hit uh, enter on don't enter a password to enter. Okay, so the command just completed and we have a whole list of users. But with uh, the lookup SID tool, it also enumerates uh, aliases and uh, groups as well, as you can see. So we just want to pull the SID type users out and make a word list with those. Okay, so I have put all those users into a file, roasted users, and here are all the users we have, administrator guest, Kerberos, TGT, Enterprise Core VN, A White Hat, T Skid, J Golden Hand, and J Leet. Okay, so now with a word list of users, we can attempt to abuse a feature in Kerberos called ASREP Roasting. Okay, so ASREP Roasting exploits a vulnerability in the Kerberos authentication when, re when requesting a ticket granting ticket from the authentication service. If the user account does not require pre-authentication, we can exploit this vulnerability because it does not require a password to get that ticket granting ticket. So the importance of this ticket granting ticket is it is encrypted with the user's password, which we can take that and crack it offline. We'll be using the mpacket tool get mp users to exploit this. All right guys, so we'll go ahead and run that command. We'll be uh, mpacket, mpacket get mp users uh, tool with the domain name volnet rst local and the domain controller IP, which is just our machine IP that we're attacking. And then our users file which is roasted users of all the users that we uh, enumerated. And then we'll do no passwords. We're not supplying a password. And then our output file will be to NP users. Hit enter. All right. And then now you'll see we'll have a new file, which will be NP users. So cat NP users. And we have a uh, TGT for T skid. So we can go ahead and copy that. Put that into a file, which should be a hash dot text. And then now we can crack it with hashcat. All right, guys, so we're at the hashcat page, and we pretty much just need to find our mode. So scroll down and we will see the see this one, 18,200, which is a Kerberos 5 E-Type 23 ASREP, which is the same as our hash. We'll see Kerberos 5 ASREP 23. And so we'll use the 18,200 mode. Okay, and here's our hashcat command. We got hashcat. Uh, dictionary attack with the mode being 18,200. That's our file with our hash in it, hash.txt, and the word list we'll be using is rocku.txt. Go ahead and hit enter. All right, guys, hashcat just finished and it cracked in a couple seconds. We got our password right here, tj072889 with the asterisk at the end. Okay, now I'm going to use SMB map with our host being the IP address we're attacking and the username tskid and the password, the password we just got, I put it in single quotes so the um, special character doesn't mess it up. Okay, SMB map just finished and now we have a couple more permissions with uh, the net login share. All right, so we'll use this SMB client command, with our IP address, our share we wanna see and our username tskid, enter into the password for tskid we just cracked with hashcat. All right, we just got logged in. And see what files we got, reset password.vbs, which is a visual basic script. Go ahead and get that. Yes. All right, exit. 
And we've got reset password VBS. Check that out. And we've got some credentials hard coded into the script, a white hat with a password. So we'll go ahead and copy those down. Exit out of here. All right, so we'll go ahead and use SMB map with our host, username white hat and the password we just got. Okay, so SMB map is back and we actually have write privileges, write privileges on the admin share, which will allow us to do uh, use the PS exec uh, exploit, either on Metasploit or uh, manually. But we can also use an mpacket tool WMI exec with the white hat user and grab a shell and our shell just popped up let's uh, check out this file system a little bit okay guys so uh, kind of went through the file system a little bit and an enterprise core VN desktop is the user dot text flag okay so my shell keeps crashing so I keep reconnecting but uh, I reconnected and used the net user uh, a white hat command which will show me the uh, some information on this user account and the full name blah blah, blah. scrolling down uh, global group memberships we're in the domain admins group so we should be able to use the secret dumps uh, tool uh, that's a it's an impacket tool and it allows us to pretty much uh, dump the domain controller credentials okay so the secrets dump tool from impact it uses a DC sync attack which is a domain controller sync attack this attack works by pretty much uh, an over over privileged user uh, having the privileges to sync all the data from another domain controller to that user usually a user will not have this privilege and it'll be just a uh, domain controller account but uh, sometimes misconfigurations happen Okay guys, so we got this command going, impact it, secrets dump with the uh, domain name and our username, password, and IP address of the machine we're attacking. And it's currently loading and hopefully it comes through. Okay guys, so uh, impact it, secrets dump just came back and we've got some hashes, scroll down a little bit, and we've got administrator guest, Kerberos, TGT, uh, Enterprise Core VN, White Hat, T Skid, J Golden Hand, J Elite. We can just grab this administrator hash and pass the hash with uh, WMI exec. Okay, we can just use uh, MPacket WMI exec. Enter. All right, guys, our shell finally came through. And so we can check out who we are. Maybe. Okay, we are administrators, so let's go ahead and see if we can get that system flag it asked for all right guys had some uh, connectivity issues so i've been uh, connecting and reconnecting but uh finally got connected and long enough to grab the system.txt flag right here and so we can take that paste it in and we did it yay all right everyone thanks for watching and uh just uh, say it again. I'm still learning Active Directory. So uh, if I did something wrong, please correct me in the comments. All right. Thanks